Hi, I'm Tovlo, and this is how it went down with my song, Glad He's Gone. So, Glad He's Gone was written uh, in Stockholm. I was riding with um, Ludwig and Jacob, or the Struts, they call themselves, they're part of Wolf Cousins, and also Shellback, who's also uh, a fellow Swede. And um, we were working together in um, this uh, studio in Stockholm that is in a basement, it has um, a big beautiful recording room and then like this kind of like studio production room where there's just like all these um, stones on the walls and it's pretty dark and cozy and it was during a full blizzard um, so we were kind of snowed in in there, it's really nice. It kind of just started with uh, Johan of Shellback um, playing the guitar and it took us a while to like find the chords and find the vibe and the tempo um, and then I just started kind of like singing this little melody and kind of like um, singing the glad he's gone phrase kind of just without even thinking what that would mean it kind of just came out and we all started kind of talking about like what that would mean like it could be a murdery song which would feel really dark and not really <laughs> the point of it um i'm just you know happily in love moment of my life so not really feeling that i can honestly sing about a, a breakup at this moment and but then i thought about you know all my friends going through that all the time and like we all have friends you know dating an idiot that we want them to get rid of and it's just you know a celebration when they finally um, pull the trigger on that so but you still need to be the supportive friend and you know tell uh, give them um, the love and support that they need and we realized that as we're drinking you know this kind of um, the one had this big thing about drinking uh, really nice very cold vodka just completely straight up because uh, it doesn't give you a hangover so we were kind of on glass four probably <laughs> When all the, you know, only one dick that's a bummer, all those lines started to kind of trickle in. We spent like a full, you know, full couple of days just kind of um, perfecting melodies and like um, it didn't take me that long to write the lyrics because as soon as I kind of had the, the story and the visual in front of me, it was pretty quick. You know, it was fun for me to use my voice in a different way, like less singing and more like almost, yeah, more like focusing on telling the story. Like, what are you saying instead of like hitting those notes? Yeah, I think we did like, you know, I don't know, a million takes of the chorus to get the right kind of gang vocal. Um, the boys all went in there and sang it as well. And we all did this little kind of clap pattern on our bodies trying to get that um, right. It took us about a million takes as well because <laughs> um, uh, it's hard to like sync each other up in that moment. I went, you know, and played it um, at the studio in LA for, um, for Martin and for my publisher and for my managers. and. Everyone was just really uh, feeling it, and it had that, you know, summer, summer vibe that um, feels perfect for now. <laughs>